Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I'm moving on to my next guest. Oh, I got two guests. I've got Mike and Hannah Morano. They're husband and wife team. They're home improvement experts. They're renovation experts. And they're here so you can do it too. Yeah, you can get some instruction. Mike and Hannah, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank you, yes. Okay, this, you know, your, your, um, Title says that DIY projects you can do in a weekend. All right, you guys are going to have to prove this to me because I got some product <laughs> projects I've been doing for months, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to start with you, Hannah. The pandemic really started off on a, in a home improvement boom. You know, at my house, I can only talk about me. I painted, I put on handles on can uh, on cabinets. So what were some of the other projects that other people were doing? That's great. I love that you did that. Um, so kitchen and bath refreshes are the top projects that Americans reported wanting to complete in a weekend. And then garden work and yard work were the third most popular responses. Okay, Mike, I'm going to ask you. I told Hannah I started some projects, but I didn't finish them all. Do I have any, any, any compadres in that? <laughs> for sure, for sure. A lot of times people uh, not getting projects done, it's totally normal. Uh, what people cited for the most reasons that they weren't getting their projects done was time. They just thought it took too much time. And also sometimes the expense got in the way as well. Okay. Hannah, you know, some of the, um, it said, you guys say it's easy to update your kitchen in a weekend, your bathroom also too. All right, give me some tips. Yeah, so the easiest and fastest way to update your kitchen is to swap out your kitchen faucet for a more modern style and finish. It's a really easy project to complete. It only takes a couple of hours, so it's great for even a DIY beginner, and it really does have a big impact on how you experience your kitchen every day. So some popular features right now are the pull-down spout, which allows you to have a lot of flexibility in where you direct your spray, and then also the touch feature, which allows you to just touch it on and touch it off. And we always purchase Delta Faucet kitchen faucets for our remodels because they do offer both of those technologies in a wide variety of styles and finishes. And then okay. looking to your bathroom, it's actually surprisingly easy to install a toilet. Um, I bet you didn't know they actually make toilets <laughs> nowadays that install with no tools, which is awesome. And um, an added benefit is that it could save you water if you're replacing an older model. Okay, easy to install toilet. Okay, I'm gonna take your word on that. Mike, you know, <laughs> uh, the outsides of our home also too, they need sprucing up. How do we handle these big projects? For sure. You know, one thing that Han and I do in all of our projects is replace any old tarnished light fixtures on the outside of the home with new fresh styles. Now, one thing we want to keep in mind with this is if you take off an old light fixture, it's going to leave a hole behind. So you want to make sure that the new light fixture is going to totally cover that hole to make sure everything looks perfect. And then once you do get it installed, we definitely recommend installing 40 watt soft white light bulbs in those fixtures because that just gives you like the perfect nighttime glow. All right, Mike and Hannah, I got to give you full disclosure here. I told you, paint it, change handles. I didn't do any of that. I thought of those <laughs> ideas, and my husband did that, okay? Because I'm not okay. good at okay. DIY. So, but, and the projects <laughs> got finished. But the projects I did start, I did some little projects uh, in my kitchen. I did not finish them. You know, because it seems like a good idea in the beginning, but then you just go on to other things. How can you keep your motivation, Hannah, to do and finish these projects? That's tricky. Um, I feel like you just have to keep the big picture in mind that it's all going to be worth it. It's going to look great when you're done and you'll be really proud of yourself that you did it too. Okay. And Hannah, you guys did a survey that an uncovered, you know, people argue 
when they're doing these improvement. Is that correct? Yes, we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what the surprising <laughs> thing about the survey was it found that there's not a whole lot of arguing going on, which is great because one thing I can almost guarantee, as I'm sure you know, uh, in any home improvement project, there's going to be unforeseen things that pop up. So kind of anticipating that adversity and not letting it get you off track too much can really be key in getting your project across the finish line. The survey did find, however, when people did argue, it was about those expenses. I, I agree with you. I remember in the paint aisle arguing about the price of paint. You are so correct. <laughs> you guys work together you know? as I wrap up here. You two work together. How do you not argue about what to do and what not to do? Give us some insider tips, mm, Anna. You know, you know, we met at work, so we've kind of always been used to working together. So I think that gave us a leg up. Mm -hmm. And our strengths and weaknesses really offset each other. So we don't really step on each other's toes very much, which is perfect for what we do. Yeah. Oh, you guys sound like you got it together. Hannah, online, where my audience, can we go get some more information? And where can we be like you and Mike also, too? Yeah, so you can go to deltafaucet.com slash tips and tricks. There's tutorials there, and there's a list of weekend projects that you can accomplish this weekend. All right, I'm going to let you guys be my example of how to be a DIYer. So I want to thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. Hope you've inspired my audience like you guys inspired me. You're so calm and serene. I just think you're terrific. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank uh, you, so thank you much. for having us. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.